Please, dear catechists, you come in. Those who are taking um, the, those who are taking the prayers of the faithful, you will remain in that little tent. Those who are taking the readings, please come up here. And also those who will help in the translation of the archbishops. Taking the readings, please come forward. Those who are taking the petitions, those who are translating the homily.
the Most Reverend Dr. Emmanuel Obo, Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Tororo, the Vicar General, the Pastoral Coordinator, the Catechist Chaplain, the clergy and religious brothers and sisters, and dear people of God. Today we will celebrate the Catechist Day here in the Archdiocese of Tororo, and also Today we celebrate the 50th anniversary since their Messiah bishops chose Christian communities as a way of strengthening the church in Africa. Your Grace, we have no doubt of your continued love and dedication to this, your humble collaborators, the catechists, with whom you and the priests and the religious carry out the pastoral activities of the church, particularly in the real depth of the various corners of our beloved Archdiocese of Tororo. Their big turn up on this day is a strong sign of their dedicated solidarity with you in the pastoral ministry of the Archdiocese of Tororo. Your Grace, allow me make a little remark at the beginning, that you are aware that we still have very remote and deep areas in the Archdiocese of Tororo, both in the mountains and in the low plains. As this, your priests here present reach out to the often remote areas, we are always warmly received by a very lively and truly Catholic community. The first request when you reach those remote areas is, Father, we want the sacrament of penance. And so you sit down to give the sacrament of penance. And during the Holy Mass, you will notice that all the ingredients of the truly Catholic Church are there within. A wonderful little choir a Sunday school to escort the various parts of the Mass, devotional groups participating, and after the Holy Mass, you will be introduced to a dedicated committee that takes care of the property and particularly land of the outstation. Very amazing, Your Grace. But you ask yourself, who is behind all this? Who 
is taking care of all this? And the answer is, the answer is, the catechist. Can we therefore clap for the catechist, my dear brothers and sisters? Once more, clap for the catechist. Your Grace, it is this same group of catechists who have come here to enjoy fellowship with one another and to be strengthened by your fatherly encouragement in order to go back and make Christ truly present and continuously present in those remote areas. And so, on behalf of this, your friends, the catechists, and on behalf of the people they serve, may I take this opportunity to invite you to lead us in the sacrifice of the Mass. Your grace, welcome. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, and dear brother and sister catechists, you have brought us here today because today is D Day, but I call it C Day. D Day is a daily, daily, daily day. Today is the catechist day. And so you are all welcome to this center. I know you left your places very early. Probably some slept on the way and others slept maybe here. It's good that this day becomes a beautiful day for us. And we pray that it should be like this every day. Seeing people Seeing all of you, brothers and sisters, catechists, from all over the archdiocese, from Bukwo to where? To Busia. From Busia to, to where? To Chelekura. We round it the other way from Chelekura to where? Magale. And Lumino. And so on. But today it is from wherever you come to Nyangole. So we thank the catechist, head catechist, the head, the head catechist of Nyangole. Thank you for welcoming us. Before we continue with this, let us turn to God. We turn to God and thank Him for having walked with us, for having journeyed with us, for having guided us and protected us who are alive. We ask him to continue blessing us and forgiving us for where we have not succeeded due to our weaknesses and shortcomings. We pray also remembering our dear brothers and sisters who have untimely left us and went to the Lord. We have the co-catechists, whether from far or near. We humbly turn to God and ask for pardon. To have mercy on me, the chief catechists, the chief catechist in the Archdiocese of Tororo, would like to ask to thank you, to thank you so much also for praying for me, that I was far with my small experiences away from here, but God is giving me strength. Slowly, slowly, we move ahead, marching together. <laughs> and so we turn to God and say, I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my dear brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned 
in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and what I've failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all your angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May, may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life.
Almighty and eternal God, who granted the crown of martyrdom to blessed Daud and Gildo for their proclamation of the gospel, grant that we, through their example and their intercession, may tirelessly communicate the good news of salvation to the nations. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, to your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After his suffering, he presented himself to them and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. On one occasion, while he was eating with them, he gave them this command. Do not, have, do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift. Wait for the gift my, my father promised, which you have heard me speak about. For John baptized with water, but in a few days, you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Then they gathered around him and asked him, Lord, are you at, the time, at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, it is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has said by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. The response is, Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel I preached is not of human origin. I did not receive it from any man, nor was I taught it. Rather, I received it by revelation from Jesus Christ. For you have heard of my previous way of life in, Jeru in Judaism, how I intensely persecuted the church of God and tried to destroy it. I was advancing Judaism beyond any of my own age among my people and was extremely zealous for the traditions of my fathers. But when God, who set me apart from my mother's womb and called me by his grace, was pleased to reveal his son to me so that I might preach him among the Gentiles, my immediate response was not to consult any human being. I did not go up to Jerusalem to see those who were apostles before I was, but I went to Arabia. Later, I returned to Damascus. the word of the Lord. According to John. Glory 
many of, of the disciples of Jesus remarked, this sort of talk is hard to endure. How can anyone take it seriously? Jesus was fully aware that his disciples were murmuring in protest at what he had said. Does it shake your faith? He asked them. What then if you were to see the Son of Man ascend to where he was, he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life. The flesh is useless. The words I spoke to you are spirit and life. Yet among you there are, there are some who do not believe. Jesus knew from the start, of course, the ones who refused to believe and the one who would hand him over. He went on to say, this is why I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by the Father. From this time on, many of his disciples broke away and would not remain in his company any longer. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you want to leave me too? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe. We are convinced that you are, you are God's Holy One. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends, we have all has been done well, and indeed our hearts are burning with the word of God. And so let it even burn more with love, especially as we settle down, and the Archbishop inspires us even more in his homily. My dear and fellow Christians, and my dear and fellow catechists, in this archdiocese, the chief catechist is the archbishop. And all the others are chairman of the catechists, the head catechists, and all that. And uh, so welcome to the center of the chief catechist. This celebration brings me great joy of every year because it is our family day. It is our family day. I am happy that you are standing firmly and strongly as witnesses as we are now blessed this year to celebrate it under the theme which exhorts, which calls us, which really presses us. And that is what we are when the Lord says, you will be my witnesses. Before returning to heaven, Jesus instructed his disciples, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses telling people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, in all Judea, 
in Samaria and to the ends of the earth. And also in Acts, of, Acts chapter 1, verse 8, and also Matthew chapter 28 is talking about this. Today we want to celebrate in a special way with the, you, our beloved catechists, and your spouses. Are they around? Your wives and husbands. But here I don't see them. What has happened? I wish to greet all of you and express my gratitude and that of the whole people of God in the Archdiocese of Tororo to you catechists who are today here and even those who are listening and watching from their homes to all the retired catechists and those who have gone back to the Lord since our last meeting here, our last celebration, I would like to thank all of you for helping to instruct our brothers and sisters, for helping to instruct our children to enter the Christian life by your words and examples. People call you teacher. And I also call you teacher, because the first teacher I knew was not a teacher in the, in the, in the, in the classroom. It was the, the, the teacher under that mango tree who instructed me how to know God. And indeed, you are permanent teachers in our life. Through your dedication and deep attachment to the person of Jesus Christ, you witness to Christ with the courage, and I mean with the courage, with the passion, and demonstrate your experience of God's love. for your family and for your village people and for the people who are responsible under you. Being a catechist, my dear friends, is not a job that you go and apply. I want to back a to, to apply for a job of a catechist. No. Being a catechist is a call from God, as we read it in St. Paul's letter to the Galatians. When Paul says, I was appointed not by human beings, but through the will of God, our Father. Yes, many catechists, it is true, I have gone through the files in the history of this archdiocese. I have not got the catechist application letter. Maybe they remain where? In the parish. But what I know is that many catechists, after realizing that they are called by God, go to volunteer. They go to volunteer. And by the way, if God did not tell me another way, that uh, you go quickly 
Probably I would be one of you, but an old one. Because that was already indicated. Even these priests here, generally when God has a plan, he fulfills it in different ways. He has fulfilled it in your life for our good. For the good of all your people. For the good of people of God. Whether they are Catholics or not. You are at the service of humanity. You are at the service of humanity. We have to respond by recognizing the glory of God in our lives. The catechist is a person of faith who leads others to understanding the teaching on faith. I still remember that one with the catechist. There were two of them started with me, who made you? I did not know who made me. Then uh, the answer was, God made me, God made you. Why did God make you? These were very tough questions. But the Catechist taught me how to answer them. Not only with my mouth, but with my life. The catechist, may God bless them in heaven. So catechist is a person of faith who leads others in understanding the teachings of on faith according to the official teaching of the church by initiating them into the faith community. According to catechists, according to the teaching of the church. Today, every catechist is supposed to be having the catechism of Catholic, Catholic Church. All those questions which we used to have are put in a big book called the Catechism of the Catholic Church. That catechism was ordered for and signed and approved by the man we also remember him today, Pope John Paul II. They call him the Pope, People's Pope. He, re he renewed that. And so today we have the Catechism, which can be used in the Catholic Church as an approved teaching book. A catechism, in that catechism, we are told that the catechist, the bishop, the priest, cannot stand of the church. Thanksgiving God to God. And in that Thanksgiving, we have it at the Eucharist. The Eucharist is a Thanksgiving moment to God whenever we celebrate. The Eucharist is the center and the life of the church and my Christian life. 
And a Christian, a, the catechist, I know very well, there is no catechist who misses the Eucharist. At least Eucharistic celebration. I know. This is, this this my voice is not catching up here. Am I the one who is hearing badly, or the machine people here? Gather here today to celebrate this Eucharist together. We are thanking God for your perseverance, you catechists. As I said during our last celebration here, when we are having Christmas, with all the priests around. We need that perseverance. We are here together to pray and express our trust in the power of God. In the power of the Holy Spirit which you, uh, you received already during the time of your confirmation. And you are promoting that power by teaching the people that they should go and be confirmed by the Spirit of God. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit promised us by our Savior, Lord, our Savior and Lord, Jesus Christ. It is because of you, catechists, that we are raised and sustained for the glory of God's kingdom. Before a serious Christian dies, you fellow catechists tell me whether I'm saying the truth or uh, I'm saying the, the wrong. Before a serious, a serious person dies in our village, that person is counseled, is encouraged, is given light, is prayed for by you, the catechists. So you only not encourage people to live the spirit of God, but you also accompany them to their creator. And so your work, I want to repeat here that I do not want to hear any catechist who comes and says, I am only a mere catechist, I'm nothing. God did not create you for nothing. He, create you, he created you for what you are today. St. Paul says he was chosen from the womb of his mother. And each one of us probably was chosen from the womb of your mother. But God did not tell you because it is him to lead you to what to do. And so sometimes catechists get discouraged when things do happen. 
in their villages, in their areas. Going back to the Eucharist, there is the a very beneficial moment when we are kneeling humbly before God, before the Blessed Sacrament in our parishes. I would like to regret, and I with a, a lot of sadness in my life, these days, we have had cases where the Blessed Sacrament in different churches have been stolen. You steal God and you take where? We have had cases in our own parishes around where the Blessed Sacrament has been abused. You abuse God, where do you go? We need a long prayer of reparation. Just this very year, Blessed Sacrament disappeared. Is it a miracle that a Blessed Sacrament disappears from the tabernacle? What is in that parish? For sure somebody picked it. There are all kinds of enemies of the Eucharist. And they, are, they, 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 they become enemies of God. You are also custodians you are also custodians. You are keepers and watchers and the guards of the Blessed Sacrament in your parishes. I don't know when you feel what you feel. When you are told that somebody stole the Blessed Sacrament, do you take it just like that, a simple thing? Would, okay, it is stolen, no problem. No. Jesus said, do this in memory of me. That is Jesus living in your midst in that parish. And so stealing the blessed sacrament which in whichever way You are condemning yourself probably. We are not, it's not our problem as human beings, but God sees you. And so we shall pray. I will urge all these parishes to continue praying that these thieves of the Blessed Sacrament and those abusers of the Blessed Sacrament may convert. There is a need for conversion. And it is because of this that we are raised and sustained for the glory of God's kingdom. Many times, dear friends, when somebody is about to die, he sends somebody to you and says, please, can you go to talk, to call Father for me? Is it calling Father or something that person needs? Who tells me a bit? Jafonji, Mwalimu. Why do you call Father? For what? Father can pray from the church. Why does he come there? Stand and tell us. 
He wants the sacrament. And who goes to plead about the sacraments? Because there are so many questions the catechists answer in the parish. There are so many questions before the sacrament goes there. Is he married in a church? Does he go for confessions? Does he pay double O? Does he re? -re? Does he re? -re? Does he? Re -re? And at the end of the day, the catechist is just there. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. And yes, Father. Why do you struggle like that? Because you love your vocation. Because you love the call that God has, called, I mean, has, has, has commanded you to. St. Paul is right. I was commanded by the Lord. I was a, a, a persecutor. But God calls me. To be an instrument to the Gentiles. So, being a teacher in the village, you know the families. You encourage the families. You counsel the families when there is domestic violence in the villages. Who takes care of that? The catechists. When there are small Christian communities praying, who takes care of that? The catechists. When you fail with your vocation, and especially the good example of a catechist, then you fail yourself. You fail yourselves. I know the passion you have. Therefore, it is because of you catechists that we celebrate with you the signs of Christ's love. Maintain, sustain that love in your life. Or let us ask Jesus Christ, let us ask God our Father, let us ask the Holy Spirit to help us that we may maintain our baptismal promises, we may maintain our promises to serve him among our people in the church forever in our lives. But in all this, by the catechism, be firm. Be firm and know that Christ calls you to serve him every day. He calls you to serve him every day. He sends you forth every day. Go, teach, and be, be my witness. Sometimes we, we, we don't see maybe what you, 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 you suffer. You also suffer. In this sacri sacrifice, in this love of God you have, don't you see sacrifices inside it? They are there. Don't you see sufferings in, in, in your duty, in, 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 in your responsibility? They are there. But because you as is to be a catechist, not to work as a catechist. You know that one who sustains you. The one who sustains you. God himself. How many times have we been beaten by rain? How many times, Mualimus? Many times. And why? Because... God's love is in you.
St. Paul urges Christians to stand firm and hold the fast. Never give up. Never give up. Hold fast. Be firm. Many catechists, even, even priests, eh? even seminarians, have abandoned the Lord Jesus. And then when they meet me, not only here, but I have met them even in other places with the different colors. See, I was a former catechist. I was a former catechist. When the word comes from, from is to was, you are not a catechist anymore. Because when we change that word from the present to the past is and we put was you are no more a catechist there. There is no way you are going to pretend you have abandoned the Lord's way. You have abandoned the Lord's way. That behave like a Christian. Behave like a Christian. Jesus during his teaching said, this is the very, uh, some, 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 some among the, the followers of Jesus, among the followers of Jesus, some said, <coughs> this is a very hard, and hard to understand. It's a hard teaching. But they had been with Jesus there for three years. Following Jesus, even eating his bread <coughs> and fish. How many times, how many thousands Jesus gave of fish? So many. And Jesus trusted that they were all for him. Wapi. Some started murmuring and complaining. We hear it in the gospel of today. So, if among us there are some catechists who mama and complain, <laughs> I think they should not take that example. Let us work together. This year, as I'm talking here, as I left Rome recently, there were there are hundreds of bishops on, in a synod. And the, the, the theme of the synod is a synodality. A synod on synodality. Synodality means Synodality means what catechists? One catechist from there. Because this thing started from our side, from, from our villages there. Synodality means what they're doing. Journeying together, walking together. This is what I want all catechists to walk. Whether you are going to Bukwa or you are going to Masaf, or you are going to Chelekura, or where on top of the mountain? For the word, where is that one? For the word, Raphael. The end of the, the, the end of the world in Uganda there. <laughs> hey? And there, up there, there, there is a place there up there. They said you are going up there, and the parish is on top there.
the ministry of the catechist. Recently, Pope Francis reflecting very much on the beginning of the church. From the very beginning of the church, there were teachers there. And St. Paul wrote about it. He says, are all people doctors? Are all people teachers? Are all people preachers? Are all... So we have been distributed with so many jobs and responsibilities before God. But Saint Pete, Pope Francis, reflecting on deeply on this, he wanted that we don't call the work of the catechist just a work. And he wanted it to be promoted to a, a ministry. So each one of you, as I see you here, is a minister, the ministry of the catechist. Definitely among you, there are people who have different responsibilities. We have the people who are minister, extraordinary, extraordinary ministers for the Eucharist. But all, all, all of you are ministers of the baptism. There's something extraordinary. Baptism, when you are teaching baptism, do you distinguish catechism so and so? No, we all teach the same baptism. The same confirmation. And so, from today on, when someone meets you, you tell him, and he says in the form, what is your occupation? It's a ministry of catechists. <laughs> Sometimes we fill forms, no? Yes, and when we fill, put their ministry of catechists. And in the, as a minister of catechists, in the ministry of catechists, I want to tell you that you have not only been spiritualizing people, meaning only teaching spiritual things. I know some of you are also teaching by example on the transformation of people of society. Through teaching, some of you are really teachers. Uh, where's catechist look? If you are called look and you come from Busia side. Today he has not come, but his parish priest is here. Eh? He is around. Yes. And then we had one who, whom we lost recently from CP, from Kapchorwa. Those are the ones I know. And I think we have another one. These are teachers. They have been head teachers, I think, or a deputy. Big people in their areas. We have just had one. I think he died last month. Lawrence. Lawrence what? Lou? From Buso Mulagi? Golova, yes. He was a head teacher. I knew him. He served as a head teacher. And later on, a catechist. Very dedicated. Catechist. 
So don't call your, 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 yourself a mere catechist. You call yourself minister catechist. It is true. And remember, when you are having some difficulties here and there in your ministry, again, you can do nothing without God. And Jesus said it. There is nothing, there is nothing you can do without me. You are only a branch. I am the, I am the trunk. There's nothing you can do without me. And he said in Matthew 29, 19, or 28, 19, he said, I am with you always. Trust that, that God is with you always. Jesus is with you always. Trust that. You are beloved by God. Trust that you have been chosen by God. And if we are here today, it is because we give thanksgiving. We give thanks to God for having, cho for having chosen us. May our beloved Pope, I call him, because he was here in Soroti, in our, within our archdiocese here. He visited us in Soroti here. When he visited Uganda, he came and also visited us. Today is his memorial day. As we pray together with the other saints, we pray together with St. Andrew Kagwa, the neophyte catechist, who was a baby catechist, I call him. And blessed Dauro Kelo, and blessed Jidlo Irwa, were blessed by St. John Paul II. And I was there in Rome, fortunately. It is like a coincidence. I was there. I witnessed at least that blessing. And so today, we remember these people who have dedicated their lives and they are interceding for us. Daudo Kelo was, they were both of them less than 17 years. And they were catechists. They were catechists. I wish many, many more catechists come from our families. I remember I, I, I want to go to, 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 to Butaleja. There was a catechist there. When there was time for any who could dance, could dance, could dance, dance for the, for the Lord. When time for, a, 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 what do you call? Time for consecration. Would dance for the Lord. But I think in his will, one of his wills, he wrote and gave to his son, you will be a catechist. And today I see that, that man, that boy, a catechist. <clears throat> and so sometimes God makes a home in our homes. God makes a home in our homes. God makes life in our homes. I want to say 
be a big man be a big woman there is a catechist somewhere in mbale here ni where the madam is a catechist there for a long time and she's building a church what is that parish father what is that our station father alex in che in a where father 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 chara is where is that small parish there at out station musoto is it musoto where is the where is that the 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 catechism of musoto is she around she has not come oh she is for school she has come back she is there that has been a very very long time serving near i would like to see all the <laughs> all the she catechists are up here eh where where let stand up and we see all the she catechists you see they just look like there we have so 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 many chish you ca- we shall take a photograph with all of you but men eh hey, men men catechists don't think we are we are believing you <laughs> yes she was she is building a church and then there is another one in kepskunya i think eh there's another one in kepskunya there and she was also asking a church a woman comes and says in front of us we want you to help us to we build a church in my out station these are the people let us help one another let us work together let us give a sign of the holy spirit wherever we are together 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 let us be the light of the world the lord be with you Well, thank you very much your grace for this words that have touched our hearts again our hearts are burning and indeed we are inspired thank you very much can we give a little clap please we would like to share this uh, inspiring words with the rest of the community especially those who are still back at home in different places We are happy we have the media houses here CCTV TV is here Radio Maria is here I'm sure Rock Mambo is here and others We want to share this with others who are still behind there and so we shall ask our translators in Lunyole Kiswahili Ateso Lomenana etunga no kaloka suban papa kotoma aikyoksnaka tororo achidiasis Ese na kana kalu kedini lolo no kituko anai no ma para no oko ne tiane tine Sasa dot ni kere 
abikiriana itwake lwa Kristo Abu Papa Archbishop kogewa isha na kinu kobalebe nesikito be neserai emwalimu lo kapulun noki yait do kimur kikinto woni kere koto mo pelungon lo abu kristo konyara ona woni aija nakin ilo lo inumun mo woni aparane na kwape ekal kede kai lele aya lamane polono inoi kajente chito ni mwalimu ne be erai na anyara red na kinyara nto woni asom e pelungon no kalokas ban papa kwa kolo esoma kristora kai boisho no agelegela kwa penati samaria yerusalemu kiduma keno no nu kere toma somshonu ka iyakya idiope ikanyauni matayo akaisharanu kanyauni dololo bobo wani imwali no menan nyara nto na yenu mu mo kalino ne pepe kede amuchala na oko ni jine oni bati chepa ke jas ne pene kede kawani ai malani ne polonoi mameja oni ketungano kaloka suban papa de los na mameja asimu alimu oni no ijane wi buti na yenu munum ngune yangu tuko to mo pelno ka ai no munum ko to mo jongyar arebu na tingunuda no anyara loka suban papa Iwo ni kwa petu nganu kaloka subanu papa. Kai chukisha na kotororo wana. Isha na kiti papa chibishu pukabala chudebe. Emwa limu e katekizit. A katekizit. Nyesi etu ngana loso dita bakun. E kurista ene koto motu nganani. Nyesi ituntebe. E shamiti ngesida okwapu ni emuyebe. Koto maisha na kuna ki emwa limu. Tere pelne polonoi. Loi puda chuti aisini kokinete kama kijai woni ido woni kule peki aisini kuno kini boni kike de kaboni ido ere pelu no ikaru kere ni jai woni mera tamba rebenda ngapa ke mutan ere lo ikaru kere to arautu emwalimu mama re pelu aisha peki lo shomuna mam bala papa be Arana di kota kero neni tingi seja zike da files. Itabona nui po nui lipi ati tunga imu alimu na epel no kai si anakin. Bala bara jata jaso mission ninge na. Konye cha mundu kerebe erai anyara rete de epel ngono kasom koto ma ina kena. A ina kena kia ngini inyaka kindo wane ai busesu ni jalo kasuban papa ngono bo nyara wane. Ido emu alimu chuti erai ngesi etu ngana ngon loka ayiun ne leleba yun noi noi ngese isha nakina ni loso diti labulo kasuban papa spoke nite asomu epelu ke kukwa kuangena ilo lo kwa pe emu alimu ichora kenta wane kere aja udu kede akati kazimu ne pedoro na eto soma aisha nakina epelu Akir na kalau kasuban papa, itu ikut orang tuan ikau ni kerja sekitar katik kasimu. Akatik kasimu ini kuana, ija itu maklisha nak katulik ada tete orang itu. Nada abu papa itu kita kani toma. Dengar kento orang ini akatik kasimu ini. Arusho kento orang ini keda papa aci bishopu isasedotin keda lawa Kristo. Si nak kenal nepelungon. Koto maisha na kenu wako, ekoto ni kajene tebe, e sakramentu ngono kayu kartesia, niserai akidingoto wako, na kaisha na kene kere, akidingoto wako, na kaisha na kene kere. Kidunguno wane, agogonguna koto ma aiduko kinyo, na ka e sakramentu no konfirmasyo. Nini da kidunguno na gogongungini, na konipero na buha, kwa pikeisha na kena ka, nuki ina kina jena nud, kwa pelungon, Ndwa bu kristo, iti tinku wani. Loki samaya wani, koto ma kristo. Anuwa ngunu, mamudu chuki nyara kina ketapala untus. Oka wate kapala sebe. Arayongi mualimi mualimu. 
kwenye kabakasebi kirai ikijana kana kaloka nukalo kasubana papa luanyaro loka subana papa asome ke pelu mami kira uni tunga nu shar shar na no edita mun kwenye karasoni jake de kamun naka anyara uno ko naka ase uno ko ido koto manyara unte ko erero upopa erero be ekoto ni kasese ne te kote nando kodo jo ai dario naka e sacramento no kayo cartesia balenge sibi ko karno polo armando karujeda idomo akanga sha kwa penati akoko anar ne sacramento no kayo cartesia koto makilisian koto mo missioni kwenya bala pape bi ko jas bona yi ko jas bi tunga yi nunyo ko potunge so mauto are ko e sacronin ari ko takironin se ko toni karas duchu luki dari ko docho e sacramento le rai aki di ngoyeti na kai jara ko ko to mai jana kin e bal ko be shana kin tu te be e mwali mu joke de kayongo e rawni tu ngone pola dominet na ri kristaino ke torda kanino ko ne bune kursat ne jai fada e bal ko to ngola plon ne mission e mo alim ngese ducho kini inyobo ekoto ringese acha pe koto pende sia acha pe kota sina pikinyo uona acha pakite rekini ke dai ngese ta be ko nyebere ngope ngole buniti ngoni ere ato ali jana kini ya pia kelisia e domene sacramento e gangita kelisia ile mi ngope ngone ndo bolo era yone e bolo apolon e bolo apolon jana kini ngope ngone chuti era jito ke jana kina sa polo ke be polo ke pelu noi ko chalo ya ngena e polo ne pelu awanyu ne be ki tere ki no ne ais na pa mumu ko to mai to lotai le pasne yi ayun are ki biro ro ne ngono apolo ke biro ro no kanyara rete ko pe chene kana kalu ke dini lolo yi numu numu cho ne lola para na pa na kristo ngoni le ra amen kristo ngoni le rai ai tim Kristo ngoni le raya la kunyo ilipi ducho ne be kape de ducho na e dara o kanyara re ay dara ducho kanyara re te ko ray na chasiti ne gogongo apara shakere koto ma kristo hido e mo alimu lo polo e kadex lo polo lo le nunu na ke paran ne sichuti burai ayanga uno ay yulakinet koto manyara teke mameje kristai neke ko nyiru ani po mala pape be eria mo nos ngeske de mwalimu ne bala sebe papa chi bishop ara ekolo ngode mwalimu ara ekolo ngode seminario ki kwa ki boba ki rai ni julang to boro ara une bara ekolo yo do kona ara ekolo koma mera ba rayo apolo ke e mameibo ai ngare ni ki nyane e mameibe e kristai nane ab boba chi bishop ki sini ko ko ni ko bala shana ki ne be Uoni nuki nyara unda nuki seuntai kajala ke sangurian ke soma ete koto makut ko yemera ngurian asom koto mai na kena ne saina kini papa francisi yirerora kirongunu noi be aiboro ko legion e jana kene no ko sada nyine bi a giona pecha koloda a je to makelisia a jana kin koto mai jana keno ko e jabuti ne peta ido kana ne penen e minister nangunu no etitos christo extraordinary ministers ke de mwalim lu che jana kinete koto makirot ko nyewo ne kere ma mate ka tai irawo ne kere mwalim nu no ki shana kini akiru ne kamu te sebatisimu e polodo o ke pelunoi e polodo o ke pelunoi ne sena ke pape bale be e jasi che ka ni ni jana kinete ko jasi titos bi che pele kida re to ngani shana kina ere hedi ticha ko nyibo maka kina kile sera isena kini ko docho yala mi kilo kasban papa yala mi kitino enoy lolo aparana ikoto ayala ngolo kasban papa lo ko buko se woni ngoni da no ki nakito ne asom koto ma akote ke eloped ko yanga o awanyet naka isena kana kalu kedini nu ko potu ko pala kete akacha wate kan ka som nakalo kasban papa Gildo Irwa la gayon Daudi Okelo ngunulu apoto ki jawto asomino ko tokata ko rakete polo una 
ikartomna kanya re kwa eribore ne polono yi bu papa ite jana ebe apara na kanya nyu kino keche apa kena kaya ai ai sirerengo keje ai tagayaro keje abungesu ko do marereng ha ja ngis da roma apara ne ngin abala ngese ngeta kine be anu wangun ebal papa ngeta kine be woni kwape imwali munulu kedini ke somata ne pepe ke somata ne pepe ko to morote do pete loka upa kwape tungan ka loka suban papa idoda karasi aicha aicha na kaitunga sine kere aicha na ke yonak aicha na ka kwap Jipawere wache majapiskopo kufonjoani, icheko ame. Ojolwanka, uh, ofoi wan, wan paka jufonji, ma tichima anme obede luongo ingerma nyakare, ikire wache nike anabede nyaka jafonji, to tichperini obede luongo ngo kubongu were. Bere jafonji ku bere tuko, to bere leko jipawere, jogiki, bongu were, kanyo jomio raduoki igijema jotimo, ki iwach batitim. Bere tich, mongo ye chul, ria meno jonu majuteko winjo luongo no, jokadho mwenye jongeo nike, unge ingeo ngatumathielin. Teach more team or better teach. Reward one, theel award one. Nge ju nge were, ju tundi bong were. Katika si mo mo fonjo. O bedo kitao maduongi, ma hongo jerry pere o bedi e one. Kitao ni luongoni fonji makiliza katulika. Kwa sa kataka si mo makiliza katulika. Ju peace copy, ju sasara doti. Kod ju fonji, kod ju jema joti iklizia. Jokiti ikend gin, pejoti ogithiel, mapa okaristia. Okaristia obedo kristo wan gikululo, ikuwa mawan. Pama iklizin maditi, tim winjere makotire, jijo ruenyo go karistia, jijo kwalo okaristia. Ako obedo tich mawan, Kanya chiel, magwoko, gike kuonga okaristiano. Iyo okaristiano, obedo team mafoyo. Kari ya meno konon, wabino foyo were. Ritich, magodi luongo, magbedo jafonji. Icho uroko, maya okaristia. Okaristiano, amathia lo kwa mawani. Aka mamio, iti ngo wan malo. Kanya chiel, Tundo bongu were, iketo kwa maan, ikuwa machale gapa were, loa yo karistiano. Bende, wakwayo, ikuwa chumawan, nike hongo jie, lu yo karistiano, wabedi mwenye wani gime ni kwa dinyalo. Ikiri la chere, igima itimo, rukuwa ngbedo utimini wan, ginyimini wan maditi, jugeno, kungu wan paka jufonji, Ikuwa ma small Christian communities. Obede jufonji ya majo thielo. Bede jafonji. Kubede nyaka teach. Bato bede katika simo. Ikuwa padhano. Bende waripo bedo. Hongo je. Munyo wachwenyi itichino. Mwongo giluoro. Kristo oro wan teach kanyachel. Kodi wath kanya chiel. Aka idierwan watia giluongo kwethi kwethi. To wajuje watio. Riker a chiel no. Mapa kristo. Ria meno watia mgimuseni. Mungo eluoro. Walo wagi winjo.
Mataroch Bigotoguli, Bashida Bashoni, it you, a new Archbishop, Cune, Camone de Le, Neto, Cacatkis, new, a Ketaroj of Neto, a quack I do, Cumig Mele, Matap Mulionet, and Bashida Bashoni, Cubule. A jagi, kuje, chuku agenge, a me genior, genioru, muet, somet, and muet nietilil, kujone, kutabutap kiogik, agonia of matayo. Chi a jagi, kuje, mushini gay, a jebon of a shit, nietabon yindini. Jabon aga ago jesukia jek Gdastagene dom kumoy gle ajek kuje chukwa jek malimuni domsum sinik jebago gai Gdastagene dom kumoy mbale am bregot kishet nidini kishet ne bajiranda angubriaji ne gisil lagai labaraigu katkist Dene kurshani ne ki kure chindet paura ne tilili kunye ki moine tole ki kwaine to indet so sawet ne o chemwajek le chikwajek e katekist pade dene priyo ko chikwajek katekist pade chikwajek i e chidanyo kijeguri la jekwi isheda pindet chitanye kata kisti kutanye nete ngolondet nyabagae net nyenyoto kunye nete bigoto kol am bigoto koli kuje mushini gei e gongat ngolondet apindet kusir Post initiate Kulegine Teji, a Pop John Paul, Nebain Musum City, Nekat Kisti, Cuneo, Nequineng Tionini, Angujo Tatiap, a Tatiap Christu, a Gumig Majaneto, Cle Cunior Legogi, Logapi, and Dead Portap Christu. Prio kat kisti nye muje kungar ki langut neleti ye jenyoru portap kristu. Chikostoi indeti kuba cho chepndeta gul amishenyo chingatile wui goromen. Dene kujoto che jenyoru kusir pelu tiet nyebakoti let. Chingatile Kabakyani ta pindet kunye uigoromen dene chibnde tijo kusir lemi katkist e chagatagul nye kamyan kut parame kunye lasma kugurti sindet dejoto kuje wogmoitoi katkisti kumoji tisindet nyeo singet kunyur netom e Pelutit neba ngopsit neba ngmaita da koilet ap chep nyon dos. Ki tanye che indeti kele chijine do ishon do ki. A katkis salagi kuje beti kogujos amishet nyeye. Sawet nyeo e chebonda jek pigo che ogjore baburta Kristu kuitjo klagbunu kya jegi angbunu kya ba indet e ba Kristu alagi kuje 
মজে গরম লাই আি সিদে নিউ আমসাও নিউ দেন জত কলি কুজে লাস মাকু ফিথে কাতকি সো কাতকি তগোলি কুজে মুসি নি গে গে কুনে বিগোলি কুমোই নে তো গরম মুসি নি গে যে কুইসে গরম নি যে মি চিৎই মূল্যে তাপি পৌর তিল কুয়ে মজনি কৃষ্ণায়গি লমুসি নি গে যে কুইসে গরম আমি কাত কিস্তি জে বে দি কো কুমচ কুনিস আমারান দেনে মুসি নি গে লাচাস্তে ইস গালে কত জিঙ্গু ইঙ্গু দোসি আঞ্জে বস্তা ওয়ানক আঞ্জি জিনে জিবেতে ওয়ানক ইসে কাত কিস্তি কুয়ে কিজে নোর ওয়াজে গি সির পস্তনি শেত প্রিয় গি নে চিয়াজে বাগে গে কুবরিয় সামে তা পি দে কুতলে ইসা গত গোল নে চিয়ে মি দে কে নু নিয়াজে কুতস্তে বিশ্ববি ক গাস্তে ইন্দে কুবা এগি কুয়ে চে গি চুগু কাতকি ইউলো কি কুইথে দৌডো খেলো আগো গিলদো ইরওয়া চে কিজি ওয়াল জে ঠো পোপ পোপ ইওয়ানা পৌলো নেবাইন ইন্দে তি কুয়ে ইয়ে কাস্তো নুখিয়াজে ইয়ে সব নুখিয়াজে কুকুয়ে কা আঙ্গু আঙ্গু বুর উলে জে মি দাজে মুসি নি গে আজে গি চে বস্তা দে ওয়ানি আঞ্জি তগুল সঙ্গে বসমে সব নাগে মসাজারিনো গাঠুরি বামনা বা সমেসা ওমনে বা চালা বামে বে বাজা ওর খোর মরি মগো ও গো কু বাংুড়া বানু আটে নক বামি সাকাতন্দা আ সমেসা মি নক মানি আঠে মরি বাংলা কালিরা মুবলা মুবামে এরা নে মরি মুগামে ও গো সমেসা ও কবে রম সমেসা কুইটি বা কিনি ডা অখুবেরি কাঠন্ডা কাঠন্ডা এ নিয়ে নিয়ে আঠু ইটা অখর মরি মুগুন ওগানা চে ওয়াঠুবা তুই ইটি ওয়ানু কুড়েঙ্গা ওমরাঙ্গা গুয়া কাঠন্ডা নে চিঠি ইবাঙ্গা ওম সমে সারি নো কুবা গাড়ি নো কুকিরিজা নো বুড়িজে বুড়ি মসমে সাঠে কো কুবা নে কাটি কিসিমু মজ্জা এবে বিয়ারি নো কুই গিরিজা আবা ক্রিস্টু ওম সমে সাথে কথে কুবাঙ্গা ফুনা মাসাকারা মেন্টু কুবাঙ্গা উকারিসিয়া ইরো ইউ কিরিজা কফে কোনা কুড়া কফ্রি মানসিও মাফুনা আমি আগাম ওম টু গিরিভু মোয়ো ইয়াবা ইয়াম্বা অখোড়া ওমলি মুগো মুখামা আওন্ন মুসমেসা এবি ও কয়ে কুবা গিজা বিভা বিভেক গো গাম্বা ইন্দি ইন্দি মুসমেসা আটাই না চেমানি 
Oli musome sadara Tufunye ubaka abunji okuvwa mparishi ya zesalizimu Ubaka obugama nti Esakara mentu Lijia jami zibwa Elaba mbatu wakana yukudara Elio kubba Ama sakara mentu Basome sa mchimanye Intimuli bakumi Tufuwenyo kulaba Inti abantu abe nyigira mubiko lwebio Bachi uka Omukulisu wabana atiru kufa Omusome sa gwebatuma Ogeno kuito msasere doti Ebi mbuzo vinji Ebi mbuzi wa Okuveli haba kulu Elabi ona omusome sa afuwa kulaba anga Abi anukula bulonji Obuta bangu kumaka Tufuwa kulaba anga Tuburu wanyisa Okuva mbantu bafi Kulisu atutuma Geno igirize Era Obere mjuliruwa wange Sikola bukozi ngo msomesa Wabula manyanti Oli msomesa Tobe era msomesa wajo Obo waluli Wabula omsomesa Oulu alero Aba somesa tuwe mulugunya mbintu vinji Na yetu lemereko Tutambulirenga wamu Chitafe Papa Francis Ayagalo kuongira amanyi Mulimu guo msomesa Okuvalero Bobobu uzidua Omulimu guo Gamba anganti Indi msomesa Ero msomesa mwekerezia Oko kwe kuitibu wako Manyanti Omusome satabi ate kristu chechikoro. Katusabe Daudi Okero ne jildo ilua abesi imi batusabire elaba tuwole rezenga mumulimogu wa fe. Omusome satabi vera wamanyi elamu zira mumulimogu. Tutambulirenga wamu, tukolerenga wamu, okusobolo kuzimba. Ekerezia I think That's perfect We have been able to share with our brothers Who are not here with us And this uh, And many other cultures Are what make us a happy family Of the Archdiocese of Tororo Enjoying and being Enriched by our variety and so, dear friends, may I request that we rise up and we renew ourselves in the one faith of the church.
We have all gathered here, dear sisters and brothers, to celebrate the mysteries of our redemption. Let us therefore ask Almighty God that the whole world may be watered from these springs of all blessing and life. Let us pray for the Mother Church, the body of Christ. Baba, Ekerezia Haushia Haushia, Neri Ngalala Muhuendana, Ne Christu, Nganjo Mutwe, Ne Demufu na Eucharistia, Yeyo Ngero Ukula, Muhuishirisa, Ogusuvira, Nohuenda. We pray to the Lord. We pray for civil and political leaders. Kwa ajili ya raia na viongozi wa kisiasa kwamba maadili yote na katiba zote ziwepo kwa heshima ya mafunzo ya Kristu Kuleta haki na ukweli ulimwenguni. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the families. Nipaka pecho akama kuo chakriye. Wakwae nikisindelo siemu bedi pechin. Aka chogi monjo mare. Ngejo nyutinye tinda kuwa maber. Akatim manya Christo udonga ikis pechin padana chele chele. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the Christian community. Kelly Patani ya ilokas ban papa kanuka tu kona nuke Christo na woka chuti arabantu wa SCCs. Titere koto masoma sine keche nuka ngi sabiti. Epero lokas bana itigogong kota Afrika kachuti kane achukisuoko na kotororo okwe lokas bana papa ingai ingai kira na raisho kina ingai kira na raisho. We pray for the catechists. Kibumba itewa iswe tu kwe valia romani mumsa kutulanda abasa izana bakali. Okumuli moguno go kuereria evangelio ngatutuchiria maulira masa edi abantu banabona tukwegaidira otu tukuze ingo tulondere otuongere na mani gamoyo mutukirivu tusanire okuereria ingatuli beto waze for this we pray to the lord Isala yeba alwale. Papa wele kukulomba huri. Muma anikewe. Ubabu neshele ubirere muba dokita ni wanaz. Kuhirose la hulo mbela ababa shiri huma nyatindua letesi pachenda na sota. Huri papa abara njirile. Bafune buu yeti makanjiro ni huwa nesewa. Let us pray in the Lord. We pray for, we entrust our brothers and sisters who have gone ahead of us on this journey, especially Katakis, that they may see God face to face and pray for us also to complete our earthly journey. We pray to the Lord. Lord graciously hear us. I would like to conclude by praying for Father William Obo, who is in the intensive care of the hospital in Zambia for almost one month now, very sick, that the Lord may strengthen him, that he may not lose, he may not lose the strength and the vision of God as he is in a, at his a sick bed, Lord, hear us. Lord, 
And may your mercy, we beseech you, O Lord, be with your people who cry to you today, so that what they seek at your prompting, they may obtain by your ready generosity, through Christ our Lord. And now is the time, dear brothers and sisters, in which we are to offer to the Lord from what he has blessed us in the offertory. Our mothers, the Women Guild, will help us in collecting our different gifts and present to the Lord. Let's offer to him generously.
We remind those who have gifts in kind, let us join the procession. Those who have brought gifts in kind. Let's join the procession and we move towards the altar of the Lord.
sisters, that our sacrifice today may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive, our Holy Father, the offerings we bring in a commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give order to their faith, to their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration as we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out and without end, we acclaim.
and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body, the blood, and our Lord of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and he gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of, his, of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in a thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblations of your, of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of Christ and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph as pals, with your blessed apostles, blessed Gildo uh, Irua and Daud Yokelo, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence with life and unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Emmanuel our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our brother, departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Together. 
through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, and formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, our Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Dear friends, we come to share in the Eucharist and uh, dear catechist ministers, keep in mind the words of your chief catechist when he mentioned to you that the thieves of the Eucharist are within the lines. It may not be here today in Nyangole, but uh, as you go back to your parishes, please remember those words of your chief catechist, the Archbishop. So they come in the lines, they receive the Holy Communion, they hold it in their hands, or even put in their pockets and walk away before the, the Eucharist even ends. They have been sent. So beware of that. We will now receive the Eucharist in a very orderly way. And I will ask the Catechist of Nyangole, please step forward. You pick an umbrella that has been prepared somewhere there on my left, and then you escort a priest to a right place where the people can orderly receive the Eucharist. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
You will all agree with me. We thank the choir also. Catechus, help me. I was seeing some people dancing with the heads. And I think there is that song which they have not sung. Maybe here they don't know. It should be like that every day. (laughs) 
Dear friends, let us pray. O oh God, who in your holy matters have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from the, this sacrifice today, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And I invite you to remain standing. We have a prayer, an inaugural prayer, celebrating 50 years of the existence of small Christian communities. Because we do not all have the copies, we shall read from the altar. But after Mass, head catechists, you'll pick these from behind the cathedral. Father, we are still praying. Announcement later after Mass. Because we are also inaugurating today the silver jubilee of the small Christian communities 50 years ago, but many catechists will tell me that this, these Christian communities are still very few in our places and it is very, very big. It is supposed to be 10 to 15 families praying and reflecting. It is also to me that many people have not understood this small Christian communities in our communities. I take this opportunity to ask humbly our catechists to review what you are studying, what you are being taught, and you are sharing in your courses, current courses, in the deaneries and strengthen our communities with the small Christian communities system, which we have there. And so I'm going to, to, to lead that we pray for this intention of the Jubilee prayer, 50 years that this small Christian community uh, way of living was started a long time ago. We need to strengthen it, I say again. So we turn to God to help us. Gracious and loving God, we give you thanks for the gift of our faith as we joyfully commemorate 50 years of fulfilling experience of small Christian communities as a new way of being church. Recall and give thanks to the founding bishops who out of their love for Jesus, your son and the church, generously introduced this new pastoral model of the church. God our Father, as a Messiah celebrates and looks to its future, we pray that the fruits of the synod on synodality 21-24 may find fulfillment through reinvigorated in kindle in us the spirit of listening, discernment, and communion for active participation as we journey together on the mission of evangelization. Gracious God, strengthen us in our faith, hope, and charity, 
so that the seeds of Christian discipleship experienced through the functional may ever remain a gift to the church and the world. We make this our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. This prayer will be available. Now I invite our brothers and sisters, the catechists, to step forward. There's an inaugural prayer over you and a blessing to institute the ministry of catechists. Please let's make it as fast as possible. Step forward. Thank you. Um, maybe let them stand where they are. It will cause confusion. Just stay where you are, but you stand. The Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sons and daughters, I welcome you again to the Archdiocesan Ministry of Catechists. May God continue the good work he has begun in you. Let us pray together. Lord God, source of all wisdom and knowledge, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to live among us and to proclaim his message of faith, hope, and love to all nations. In your goodness, bless our brothers and sisters who have offered themselves in the ministry of catechists. Strengthen them with your gifts that they may teach by word and example the truth that comes from you. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you all. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass. It has not ended. <laughs> Your Grace, the Most Reverend, our Bishop, uh, Emmanuel Obo, we thank you very much for leading us in the sacrifice of the Mass. And you, my brother priests, thank you for joining in this noble celebration. Allow me at this moment to recognize a few dignitaries in our midst. I recognize the presence of our RDC, Tororo, Mr. Nixon Owole. You're very welcome, and thanks for joining in this sacrifice of the Mass. I recognize the presence of His Royal Highness, Stephen Moses Owol, the Quaradola. Thank you. In our midst also, is a member of parliament for Tororo South, Mr. Frederick Angura and his spouse. Thanks for joining in this mass. I recognize the presence of the head of the lady of the Archdiocese, Mr. John Bosco Odoi. I recognize also the presence of uh, the manager, Centenary Bank, Tororo Branch, and your team, Mr. Cham Sara. We recognize you highly. Mr. Emron 
Luke, the head teacher of St. Peter's College. Thanks for always hosting us on this ground. And finally, Mr. John Martin Obo, the head teacher of the primary school, of St. Peter's Primary School. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our dear friends at this juncture, I would like that you permit me to invite a few people to give speeches. And the very first person I invite is the coordinator of the catechists, if he's present, to give just a little word to this congregation. Then next we shall have a word from the manager, Centenary Bank, Tororo. Please be prepared. And after her, we shall have a word from Father Alexander Okech about uh, the media houses we have here and many other communications he'll make. The chairperson of the Laity, Mr. Odoi John Bosco, will also come forward after Father Alexander Ketch. Then after him, we'll have the pastoral coordinator. And finally, after the pastoral coordinator, with great joy, we shall offer our different gifts from different deaneries and parishes to His Grace, the Archbishop, who shall be guided accordingly when the time comes. The Catechist Coordinator, please, the floor is yours. Thank you. The Lord is good. And all the time. Your grace, our main celebrant of the day, brother priests, the deacons, and you, dear Christian community, especially our catechists who have come today. On behalf of the entire uh, catechists' desk, I would like to extend my sincere thanks to you, dear brothers and sisters, for honoring our day, and in a special way for accompanying your teachers of faith. You have shown your love for them, and you have shown that you are ready to work with them and support them. Thank you so much for coming, dear friends, and may God bless you. It seems I have a catechist next to me who would like to say, a word on behalf of the coordinator, so I invite him in a minute or two to do that. Thank you, dear friends. When the time comes to return, please go back safely. One thing I would like to remind you that we have special messages for you in that magazine that has been printed. Dear visitor, dear catechist, dear Christian, do not go back without a magazine. You will miss a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you, Papa. In the interest of time, um, Luke Onyango from Lumino, um, standing in for Catechist Coordinator, with a very brief message, and I'll read it very fast. Your Grace, the Archbishop, Most Reverend M uh, Dr. Emmanuel Obo, the Vicar General, Pastoral Coordinator, Chaplains, the Archdean, deans and parish priests, other members of the clergy, reverend brothers and sisters, distinguished guests and parishioners from different parishes, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me on behalf of the Archdiocesan Catechist Executive and the entire Catechist fraternity extend our heartfelt gratitude to the Almighty God who has enabled you to undergo a successful operation. We wish you a quick recovery so that you may continue shepherding us. Fully aware that for effective evangelization to occur, there is a need for money power formation. You, together with the catechists, and as if that was not enough, the remaining catechists are also undergoing formation at dinner levels, by all means. 
This is a great achievement, which deserves congratulations. In our pastoral duties, this has made it possible for us to like our calling despite the challenges. Without the involvement of the tradition, and what a challenge to the rest of us. We are by all means humbled and pledge total commitment to our calling. May the Triune God continue blessing you. I beg to remain Luke Onyango Kelo on behalf of the Catholic coordinator. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Luke Onyango. And as he, he goes back, I invite all the coordinators of catechists at dinary level, please move towards that tent of Centenary Bank. They have a message for you. Only the coordinators. As I invite uh, the manager, Centenary Bank, to take the floor. Please, Dinari Catechist coordinators, move towards the Centenary Bank tent. Thank you. Your Grace, the Most Reverend, our dear Bishop, all the priests around, all the catechists, the politicians, all invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so honored to be part of this congregation today. My name is Sarah Achan, the manager of Centenary Bank, Tororo. I bring greetings from Centenary Bank to you all. In Centenary Bank, the role of catechists, our catechists, we belong to the church. And because of that, all catechists, priests, and of that, all catechists, priests, nuns, are our eyes, our ears in the communities where you serve. You have a role to, pray, to play in developing the bank. I want to discuss today how all began, when Centenary began 40 years ago. It is the catechists, the church that brought the communities, that taught people what banking was all about and made the bank grow to the heights where it is today. Today we are the number two bank in Uganda. We have now gone international. Centenary is a very big bank. And all this is because you participated in helping the bank. And today I want to re-emphasize it, that wherever you are, it is your role as a catechist to educate the people about our bank, Centenary Bank, about the products that the bank offers to the community, about savings. Don't forget that when people save, the community grows. You are more peaceful when you lead people who are financially empowered. When you lead the youth, the women and men who know God but also have something in their pockets. So it is your duty to stand with the bank and help educate the masses about financial literacy. We have a package for all our catechists. We have a facilitation that we offer to all the catechists. That for every account that you bring to the bank, for every ordinary savings or sent a junior, every account you bring that is ordinary, there is a transport fee of 5,000 shillings. For any account that is non-personal, maybe a circle, an association, a school wants to open an account, we give you 10,000 shillings 
as transport allowance. If you bring in a big or a corporate account, it is 50,000 shillings that the bank gives you. Because we know the engagements you have at that level are quite big. So the bank facilitates all catechists wherever you are. It's just a matter of making sure you organize the people, you call the bank or the, you send them to the bank, you bring the record. At least I brought 20 people. When you bring 20 people in a month, you have a minimum of 100,000. So just imagine if every catechist would bring in maybe 40 people, just 40 people in a month, a whole month. If every week you're bringing 10 people to open an account, it means you have transport allowance or airtime in the pocket of about 200,000. It helps you in movement and in talking to the people and in so doing, even financially, you are empowered. You can as well talk to them about the loan facilities we offer. Centenary Bank gives loans as small as 100,000. So everyone in the community, even a farmer, a tomato seller, everyone qualifies for a loan. In the past, people feared the process of getting financial cards and all that. But these days, Management has even made the process easier. As long as you have a national ID, you don't need to process or buy a financial card. So the cost has been lowered. Our customers can get as small as they can afford. And I know you know the people out there who have good character, who can stand and we support them and they grow in the community. So the bank wants you to take on that role, which is your role, and you move with it once again. I know our Archbishop has been talking about this time and again, but I want to emphasize that our catechists, that is one role that you had forgotten, and you need to pick it up. Uh, when, wherever you, it may not be that you'll bring the accounts to Tororo, I know we are from all over the diocese. We have Palisa branch. We have a branch in Bale. We have a branch in Kapchorwa. A branch in Kapchorwa. We have a branch now in Busia. And we have agents all over these places. In the villages, we have our agents. Wherever you see a center agent signpost, that is our hand in the community reach to them, take the people there and record. You come, the bank refunds all that. There is a moment when a catechist will be challenged. Maybe people asking questions. Oh, you have a very big group and you want us to get involved. Please reach out to the branch next to you. We can organize if it is a business community in your area. You've organized about 200 people. We will facilitate them. We come and meet them, and every account we open on that day at that fora, the facilitation still comes to you. It takes only 10,000 shillings to open an account. Someone must have a national ID, and with 10,000 shillings, they qualify to open an account in Centenary Bank. So in every engagement you have with the people, remind them, only 10,000 shillings. It can be a school and you have the young children. We open accounts for juniors. Sent a junior for children below 18 years. Sent evolution for the youth. And the youth open accounts with only 5,000 shillings. 5,000. They get a free ATM card. Huh? Well, we don't charge that account for the youth. So you may have students above 18 years, between 18 to 25. We want all the youth to open accounts because the future of the banks lie in the youth and the women. So let all the women and the youth help us educate them. Help us talk to them. Let them open accounts. Leave the rest to us. We will educate them. We will talk to them. We'll give them the literacy they need. We will help them grow their businesses, give them ideas and trainings that they need. So it's just 10,000 shillings for ordinary accounts, 
for circles, they open accounts with no balance. Actually, they can open with zero and there is no charge on Sente Circle and Association accounts. So please help the bank, your partner, in mobilizing accounts down there. I remain Sarah Achan, the branch manager to Roro. And please, after here, we will be in our tent in case you need any further guidance. We always give the catechists a staff handbook which has all the products, all the features. We start from there, then we train and guide. Maybe from today we will be moving to parishes. Each parish we go to, we will call the catechist and give further training on the bank products. I thank you very much. Please let's cooperate and fulfill this role of the catechists in Centenary Bank. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, branch manager. Indeed, Centenary is our bank. Let us support our bank. Let us support ourselves. Let's develop together. At this juncture, I invite Father Alexander Okech to step forward and give a few remarks. Thank you. Your Grace, the Archbishop, the Vicar General, the pastoral coordinator, the clergy, and the religious, our invited guests, the catechists, brothers and sisters. I bring you greetings from UCTV, Uganda Catholic Television. Uganda Catholic Television is owned by Uganda Episcopal Conference and licensed by Uganda Communication Commission. It is situated at Uganda Catholic Secretariat in Sambia Hill, Kampala. Uganda Catholic Television has a worldwide coverage. It is a commercial television station that promotes humanity. It is not like Radio Maria, which is non-commercial, and that's why we have to support Radio Maria as much as we have been supporting UCTV. So the vision of the television is that the good news may reach all people, and the mission to produce and disseminate quality content that enhances evangelization and integral human development. Now, for some time, we have been uh, asked so many questions in regard to UCTV, and I'm here to answer one or two questions that many people have been asking about UCTV. And one of the questions has been, when will UCTV be available on free-to-air channels? GoTV, Zuko, Star Times, and many others. Initially, we were asked to subscribe on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, and I think many of us were able to subscribe, and it gave UCTV some grades. I would like to announce to you that UCTV is now available on GoTV channel 838. So that is something that is new. The channel is 838. For that reason, I would like to also announce 
that we have the advertising rate card 2023, which is available. Remember, I said that uh, UCTV is a commercial radio, is a commercial television. It's not like a radio Maria. So we have the advertising rate card, and if we want to advertise, if you want to advertise, you can contact us. You can contact me, you can contact Father Lozias, can contact Father D. I'll be able to uh, give you that contact information. But the advertising rates are divided in segment, or hours, or times, uh, morning, very early in the morning, uh, during the daytime, um, early prime time, super time, and late night time. Um, the rates are not so, so high. They are friendly. And some programs are sponsored. A number of programs are sponsored. We have other church programs that are sponsored, like the Rosary, Daily Prayers, Daily Reflection, Holy Mass, Pope Audience, Pope Angelus, Children's Liturgy, Youth Programs, Catechism, Scripture, Rome Reports. Some of these are sponsored, so the rates are low. But I would also like to take this opportunity today to thank the team from UCTV. I thank uh, Mr. Kizito Nyandera, who is here our camera and video coverage man, and other members who have come, and I would like to, to thank them. I thank uh, Mr. Opero Isaac, who is here, uh, Miss Awori Gloria Angelina, thank you, somewhere there, and uh, Father Alozias Opio. This is the team that has been working, uh, making sure that this uh, celebration of our catechists is covered on air. So we thank you so much, and we want to encourage you to advertise with the UCTV. But at the same time, we are, we are also encouraged to continue supporting UCTV. And uh, for people who have the telephone um, and you use... MTN, there is information that you can use to you know, send your support to UCTV without uh, going to the bank. You just use your phone using the MTN line. This is for MTN users. You dial star 165 star 3 hash. Star 165 star 3 hash. I cannot translate hash in any other language. <laughs> So it is star 165, star 3, hash. Then um, it, it requests you to enter what we call the merchant code. Yes. So um, you enter the merchant code, and the merchant code is 180572. That is the mission code, 180572. Then you can enter the amount that you'd like to support UCTV with. Thank you so much for supporting UCTV. Uh, I've been reminded that we are also on Zuku. So as I have announced, we are on GoTV 838 but also on Zuku, channel 074. 074. I want to thank His Grace for supporting the opening of the UCTV station here in Itororo. And uh, very soon, it will be integrated in a very special way in any function that will come up. Thank you so much, our dear Catechist. Congratulations to you, and we wish you a very blessed day.
Yes, thank you, Father Alexander, and thank you, Uganda Catholic Television, for covering this function live. Long live Uganda Catholic Television. I take this honor now to invite the chairperson of the Lady of the Archdiocese to have a short word with the people present. Thank you. Your Grace, the Chief Shepherd, I want to take this opportunity to welcome you back and thank God for your good health. At one point we were very anxious and people were asking, but we thank God you are here and uh, very, very healthy. So welcome back. I think this is one of the public functions, one of the public ones, where you have made the first appearance since you came back. So I want to welcome you officially. On behalf of the lay faithfuls of the Archdiocese of Tororo, and on my own behalf, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate all of you, our catechists, uh, upon your celebration today. We thank you for your great sacrifices in the service that you offer to the, to the church. Indeed, you are the glue that keeps our families together. This forms the foundation for which our church stands because we are aware of the power you have. Because you have the power to attract our parishioners in our churches, but also you have the power to repulse them, basing on how they are being handled uh, on the ground. The attendance for our Sunday Mass depends on the quality of, of the kind of person that you are. The catechist, like his grace said, is a person of faith who leads others in understanding the faith teachings according to the official teachings of the church. And we believe uh, you do this following the catechism of the Catholic Church. The role of the Catholics is very vital ministry to the church. It's a gift that has tremendous value to the world community at large because there is, through the Catholic word and action, the message of Christ continues to have a place in human affairs. The white garment that we received at baptism is getting discolored. And see your role as a catechist to keep it shiny through your constant catechesis. The primary goal of a catechist is to model God's love for others. As a result, the primary requisite of a catechist is a love for God and love for children. The catechist passes to the students a set of shared meanings of values that are Catholic and Christian. The catechist also initiates others into faith community, into his faith, his worship, symbols, and practice. For all this, we thank you. We are aware of the challenges that you face in execution of your roles. But the most fulfilling bit of your ministry is service for mankind that no amount of money can be attached to. As a lay faithful, we pledge to do our best to support you in execution of your role. I also implore you to actively participate in all development programs available in your communities. I want also to use this opportunity to call upon all the leadership in our outstations to support you. I know we have been doing this, but we need more innovations more innovative ways of how to really support you. We believe you need a lot of empowerment as opposed to being given handouts. Income generating activities can be a very good kind of idea which can be done 
as maybe individuals or collectively as a team in the parish or a deanery. We call upon young professionals to join this ministry because we are aware we have some aging priests, I mean Katakis. Uh, we have one of our own who has just passed here. So that means that the energy levels are really going down and we really need young people to really come up and take on uh, those roles. We want to thank the Almighty God and I pray that in your goodness, uh, bless our brothers and sisters who have offered themselves as catechists for your church. Strengthen them with your gifts that may teach by word and by example the truth that comes from you. I once again congratulate you upon uh, celebrating your day. You hold a very special ministry and you are actually the tire, where the tire touches the ground, where the tire touches the road. So I want to thank you for your generous support. I want to thank you for your ministry and for everything that you do to the church. Uh, I saw some of my colleagues, uh, chairperson of uh, parish councils uh, from different kinds of parishes. If you are around, please just stand up and wave to the congregation for recognition. All chairpersons of the parishes, I saw Osama somewhere from Namwaya and others. Yeah, thank you so much for coming and please continue supporting our brother priests. Thank you so much and I wish you a blessed day. We continue to thank you for the ministry undertaking as a chairperson of the lady. Thanks for the good work and the innovations you are bringing about in helping us in this pastoral ministry. I invite the pastoral coordinator to say a word or two as we come to a close of this function. Your Grace, the Archbishop, my fellow priests, our lovely and dear catechists, the people of God present, religious, and all of us. Mine is just a duty to highlight some of the key upcoming events for the Archdiocese of Tororo. I want to thank you all for praying for His Grace, who has been away from the Archdiocese since immediately after Easter up to uh, September when he came back. We thank God who is slowly healing him. We know that doctors and nurses work, but ultimately it is God who does what? Who does the healing. So we continue to pray for him as we try to catch up with the delayed events. We had a very rich uh, year planner, and we had so many activities. Actually, His Grace was supposed to visit every dinner this year and meet with key stakeholders in these dinneries. It has not been possible for obvious reasons. Um, key among the events that we hope uh, to go through is going to be the ordinations. A letter has already been put out. We have also the development arm of the laity. They call themselves Tadal. Miss Odo, you help me. What does Tadal stand for? Tororo Archdiocese Development Association of the Laity. These are the laity who come from among us but who are working elsewhere in Kampala, Jinja, Tororo, and abroad. And they have, they have formed an association headed by Dr. Ikalet and it's going to officially be inaugurated by His Grace on Sunday the 29th in Kampala at St. Kizito at Bugolobi. You are all, all invited to attend if you can. We shall be there to join with them in 
acting as a development arm of the Archdiocese of Tororo. There are other associations which are doing these things. Tepal, we have others, but these are very general. This particular one, Tadal, is particularly for developing our Archdiocese here at home. So that is the 29th of this month. It will be a Sunday. Another activity which is going to take place, and I want you to listen to me very carefully, because the Archbishop already hinted on this, is the defamation. The sacrilegious acts that have continued to hit the Catholic Church almost in every corner. Yesterday I was watching the smartphone, and if you see what the ISIS has also done to churches in the Middle East, it's even worse. I'm begging you Catholics and reminding you very clearly that the devil has no hands, the devil has no legs, the devil uses human hands and the devil uses human what? Feet. His grace was not just joking when he said this thing has reached our own archdiocese. In Iquapa here we had an instance of the Blessed Sacrament. In Nyondo we had it about two months ago in Muyembe, and a lot of issues have taken place, as we have read in the mass media, about uh, the situation of Namwaya. We would like to pray, and the prayer works. The Archbishop of Kampala, His Grace uh, Semogere, Paul Semogere, thank you, had a similar sad instance with his minor seminary in Swanjere. The Archbishop declared three days of intense prayer, and as we speak now, a lot of things have happened. Father Augustine Odaro, when this sad instance happened in Muyembe, also called a few people together for an intense prayer, and just within a week, the person who had messed up with the Blessed Sacrament revealed himself, and it was returned. So, my dear people of God, prayer works. And that's why, as an archdiocese, we cannot be silent on Lucas as the devil continues to use some of our own Catholics and non-Catholics to do these heinous acts on the body of Christ, who is the church. We want to leverage an effort of a novena of prayers for the end of the sacrilegious acts within the Archdiocese of Tororo. And would like all of you to be participants. The venue that has been identified for a novena of prayers is Namwaya Parish, at Main Parish. And it will take place from the 4th of November up to the 12th. I hope I'm right there. Father Alakon, is that correct? Yeah, 4th to 12th. Why? Because at the beginning of November, the bishops all over in Uganda have a plenary, and the archbishop is a member. They go in June for the first session, then they go in November for the second session. That's why we have pushed it a little closer to the middle of next month so that we can give His Grace the opportunity to come and say the closing prayers as we pray for an end to sacrilegious acts of the Blessed Sacrament, attacks on the leaders of the church as we watch. And I want all of us not to be silent on Lucas. Today we receive Holy Communion in the hand for obvious reasons, because of the contagious illness of COVID-19 and others. But otherwise, before that, the right disposition for receiving communion was on the tongue, and there the, the abuses were less. If somebody goes to receive Holy Communion, you're a Catholic, you watch him walk with the Blessed Sacrament in the hand, puts it in the bag, or puts him in the pocket, and you do nothing about it, you are equally guilty of what has happened. We don't want to be silent on Lucas. At that very moment, I don't know whether you, you alarm or you do something, but 
Don't just allow that person simply to walk away with the blessed sacrament and say, I don't want to enter those things. They will catch him by themselves. Oh, we, want, we want you also to participate in arresting that situation. So let's be strong. Let's watch out until the situation of these contagious diseases is over. Then we can go back to the classical way of receiving the blessed sacrament. So the venue of prayers has been identified as Namaya, St. Marita, St. Martha, and His Grace has appointed a team to prepare and organize for this Archdiocesan novena of prayers against abuses in the church. And the group that has been charged with the preparations are the deaneries of Nagongera, headed by the dean, who is Father uh, Joseph Alakun and the acting dean of Achillet Deanery, who is Father Joseph Beckett Othieno. They have a team of all the parishes within this region who are going to sit and start making preparations starting on the 28th of this month up to the 3rd of November. The preparations for who are going to be the speakers, who are going to lead the prayers, and we strongly ask the CCRM movement to be at the center of prayer and intercession. Father Leo Magombe has just told me that they are ready and they'll be meeting here. CCRM, the Catholic Charismatic Renewal, will be assembling here for their Golden Jubilee celebrations from the 2nd of December uh, up to the, no, from November. Father Leo, what did you say? From 28th of November up to, up to 2nd of December. Yes, they will be here, but also spiritually preparing for the novena prayers that we are going to have in Namaya. We invite you all to be present. If you can't come, pray at your parishes. Let's pray for this end of the sacrilegious acts on our Lord and Savior. Other events that will be coming up are, uh, if you use uh, mathematics or your calculator, you will find that the Archdiocese of Tororo, which was the Diocese of Tororo, was opened in 1953. So this year we mark 70 years as a diocese. Clap for yourselves. You can always celebrate a jubilee at 70, but we can be patient and go for the Rio Platinum Jubilee at 75. But already we want to start preparations. Again, if you use your calculator and you read up here, opened on the 2nd of January 1999, this means the Archdiocese of Tororo is going to celebrate 25 years as a natural seat next year. Again, we clap for ourselves. So those preparations details are in the offing, and we shall be able to let you know uh, what happens. Uh, about the opening of parishes, we leave the dates to the right time, because this grace has a lot of things to do, and this plenary in, in, in Kampala and other issues uh, kind of cloud the real dates that we can fix. So we shall leave it to the Archbishop's office uh, plus the preparing, preparation committees to help us uh, find out the right dates when we can open, especially the one which is nearly ready, and that is Bulangira. We shall be communicating officially. I end with this. We all need parishes. But to have a parish, you need a priest. There are some people who are sitting down and say, we want a ecclesia here, we want a parish here, we want a parish here, but they don't have what? Priests. Who is going to manage these parishes? We would like that we plan properly. There is a tendency of a haphazard, let me use the word haphazard, planting of parishes in an official way. In the end, people get hurt when they have invested a lot of money in a project and it's not honored at the end because they did it on their own. Let me give you the direct uh, uh, guidelines on the opening of a parish. The opening of a parish, my dear catechist, you are very directly involved, must be demand driven by the people. The people of God must demand it spiritually because it is taking long for them to receive the sacraments or it takes long for father to come or the distance from where they are to the main parish is extremely long. That's a very key reason. 
Point number two, there must be enough land. Enough land. We as a church have churches on the same spot. We have schools on the same spot. We can even put a hospital. Those are the three arms of evangelization. So if you have a small plot of 100 by 50, you forget about building a parish. How are we going to put a school there? How? <laughs> and this land should be sufficient enough and secure land with the land title. The next step is to first deal with the office of the archbishop through the right officers to get a green light to go ahead and start constructing. Don't just construct and say, because I'm doing a good thing, it will be accepted. Point number three, it must be a community engagement that people, however little they have, have also contributed to the construction of that parish. A parish which is built by just one person, one family, is not a good one because of sustainability reasons. Should that person die eventually, who is going to look after that parish? That's why we want everybody to contribute, however small, whether it's 50, whether it's 100, but let it be a community engagement by all. And lastly, a church is different from a house. The house which I'm pointing at there is a house, that one where these days we sit and have our lunches. The UCTV is also a, a, a house, but a church is not roofed like that, neither is a church roofed like that. A church has a very sharp elevation up. If you go and see how the cathedral is roofed, you go and see how Archilet is roofed, you go and see how Kwapa is roofed. So those who are building these churches must also be humble enough to work in conjunction with the development coordinator of the Archdiocese of Toro to produce right maps and plans for churches. The home of a priest, what we call a rectory, is also very different from the homes that you people sleep in. We have been given some parishes which are just a domestic home of a man and his wife and the children going to do what? To sleep. A rectory is very different. It has a certain structure. Again, I've asked Father Jude O'Kroor to avail plans, plan A, plan B, plan C, according to uh, the prices, so that when you are constructing these churches, when you are constructing these altars, when you are constructing these rectories, priest houses, please consult the development arm and choose the model that best fits you. I want to thank you all for coming. We want to thank our catechists for the good work that you do because Toro Archdiocese has only 139 priests and we have over 950 Catholics. That means every priest in the Archdiocese of Toro looks, uh, looks after over 26,300 Catholics. We cannot do this work without you. If you look at Magali, 53 outstations. You go to Budaka, 45. You go to Budadi, they also over 45. How can those four hands of those two priests there manage the huge pastoral load? So your ministry is indispensable, invaluable, and would like to congratulate you and continue to encourage you to stand firm and lift Jesus Christ high. A lot has been written in this magazine. Please get a copy and you'll enjoy and know a lot about the catechists and the archdiocese of Tororo. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Father Kibie, our pastoral coordinator, for those remarks. And as we come to uh, the end of this function,